G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, very exciting here for you today. I've got some stuff that I've that I have mentioned on the um, on the uh, community page, but I wanted to do a video and show you what has arrived and go into a little bit more detail around what's happening here, and so you guys get an appreciation of just what's what's coming on the channel for you all to see it progress and also listen to it. So what we have here is the um, the redoing of the top baffle of the Linkwitz LX521 baffle. Now, this was something that we uh, talked about doing as an improvement over and above the uh, sandwich aluminium Panzerholt top baffle that uh, is not, we're not sure if it's still available uh, uh, in Germany or not. Um, there's certainly no indication that it's, it's, it's being produced at the moment. And we just thought we could do a lot better than the HDF top baffle, which I believe, from my point of view, has flaws. Uh, it, 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 it's a material that, that, that's, well, in, in our case, clearly fractured through the, the very weakest part of the baffle, right through the middle of it. And I'd lost complete confidence in it from that point on. And I'd spoken to uh, Paul, the, um, the owner of the, the Linkwitz speaker system, and suggested that we look at possibly uh, doing something different. So then uh, John of OAD Ultra Fidelity, who you've met on the channel and whose equipment I've had here on review, spoke to his engineer um, around whether they could produce a, a one-off baffle for Paul as an improvement over what he has uh, got with the HDF baffle. So um, all of this took a little while to to organize and to sort of get to a position where it was a feasible project to go ahead with. Once we realized we could do this and I looked at some of the improvements that I wanted to make in the speaker system over and above what was being produced at the time, we came up with, um, with this. So first thing we did was we had the base. Now this is the base which is usually made out of HDF, and I believe it's made out of HDF in relation to the um, the Panzerholt sandwich aluminium Panzerholt baffle that is produced in Germany. Uh, this is so uh, we wanted to go one better. I, I'd suggested let's see if we can go one better, and let's make the the base area here that the baffle sits on out of Panzerholts as well. So we did. So we're not going to screw in the back of this. Now, if you look in the, in the original um, Linkwitz setup, there are four screws that go in the inside of this that uh, screw into the baffle. What we're going to do, as you can see here, is we are doweling these things. So there are some little dowels here that will sit into the holes here, like so. So if we just do opposing ones like this, um, we will glue and dowel this, this base of the, the new baffle together. Everything else is identical in here as it would be. The only difference is because we're using Panzerholz, we're not going with this same thickness here. So we've got some uh, uh, slightly thinner sides to this, which gives, gives me an overall wider diameter on the inside of this. That's also going to be handy for doing up the wiring and what have you, and we'll t I'll show you that and talk to you about that as I put all these things together. So you're going to be following this journey with me. I'm going to be um, installing everything, gluing everything back together, um, that are the areas I need to, and installing all the drivers. You're going to see this step by step as we go through this process. So let's move on to the next part of this uh, amazing bit of engineering. And uh, it is the actual, and these things are heavy. In fact, that base is heavy. But this is the, um, this is the baffle, as you can see. Um, a beautiful, beautiful piece of engineering. Um, you know, the, the, 
You can see all the internal holes here for running the wiring through. Um, you know, that they, uh, you know, it's just stunning work. Um, obviously, um, everything's been done essentially identically to the, the standard baffle. On the bottom here, you can see where we'll pick two of these, these dowels up and the wiring will run through the bottom here and out into the, into the base unit. This is the, um, you can see the channeling work in through here that's been done. Um, you know, it is, it is just stunning, stunning work. It's, it's absolutely beautiful work. Uh, what Kevin has done is, uh, and Kevin is the fellow that has made these um, for us to put into the, um, as an upgrade. And I mean, this is dense. This is like concrete. Um, it really hurts my knuckles to do that, but it is absolute. I mean, there's some weight here and there is most definitely um, uh, uh, great density and, and that's why we use Panzerholz. That's why it's such a, a good material. So the same thing is going to apply at the top here. There are blanking plates. Here is one of them that uh, that that have a so these have a a channeling area where where I'll be putting glue in in all of this area here. Um, and then what we do because there'll be no screws, these are also doweled. You can see the you can see the two dowels that are sitting in here. And essentially, what happens is this will be um, this will just essentially sit in here like when I can line up the dowels like so and then there we have it so we have um, as you can see that is what we have and then of course on the back we have a blanked out section at the top now and this will be where the and the, there's an opposing um, plate for the for the other side so that we pick this tweeter up and block that one off so essentially what they do, it's, it's identical to what, what Linkwits do, and that's essentially what you're going to see um, with a speaker system in it. Uh, and that's the next uh, stage of all of this. So these things are just beautifully tightly engineered. They're, a, they're millimeter perfect. Um, the, the quality here is just absolutely stunning. Um, I, I, I'd say this would be the best top Linkwits LX521 top baffle ever produced on the planet. Uh, the quality here is just outstanding. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting all of this together. And as I said, the the I'll just see what I can do here to make this. But this is essentially what we'll have here. So that's essentially when it's glued together. That is the that is the base area. Which again, all this stuff's pretty heavy, so it's difficult to manage it. But that's that's a look at at, at, um, at what's what's happening here. What what we have? Um, it, it's just stunning, stunning work. All of it, beautifully, beautifully constructed. It is literally, you know, millimeter, fractions of a millimeter perfect to the original um, Siegfried Linkwitz design, and it is uh, about to go together. So I have two sets of these. Uh, I am going to um, start the process of um, gluing all of these together, uh, installing the drivers. Now, another thing that's, that's changing that I'll tell you about now too is I'm running um, OCC silver-plated uh, Teflon dielectric co copper wiring through the, uh, the whole internal wiring in the baffle. I'm not using the, well, I'll, I'll say it for what it is, rather cheap Megami gold wiring that is provided in the kit. That's what was in the HDF baffles. It was all pre-set pre, pre set up in the baffles. Uh, now that we've got new baffles, I have upgraded the wire substantially from what uh, is provided by Linkwitz, and it'll be silver-plated OCC copper in a PTF uh, a dielectric. So that's what and I'll show you all that. It's all ordered. It's coming. Uh, I'll have it sometime next week, I'm hoping. And then I will. Sh you will see everything as we go through the process of putting this top baffle back together. I'm also going to start a series and do some still photographs and talk over the top of them so you can see what happened in the initial stages before I had the channel. I'll talk to you about the whole process of putting the base cabinets together. They are still HDF 
and the bridge that goes over is still HDF, but all of the wiring, I've done binding posts in the bottom, not that speak on connector, which I'm never had and have never been a fan of. So I've used binding posts, three sets of binding posts, which I think you've seen on the channel. Um, I'll go into more detail, but the wiring from those binding posts all the way up the inside of the bridge and then up into the top baffle will all be this new silver plated OCC copper wiring. Uh, I want the internal wiring in this unit to be um, as good as you can get. It is military spec wiring and it is absolutely b built to last a millennium. So we'll have that in the in the internal wiring. I mean, the same thing that essentially Wilson do. They put the best wiring they can get their hands on on their internal aspects of their speaker wiring, which is all transparent cable. And then it's up to you what you run from the binding posts out. Same thing will apply here. Uh, it, all the internal wiring will all be of the highest quality that I can get. And, uh, and then that way it never needs to be thought about again, it never needs to be changed, and uh, it'll give a lifetime of um, wonderful listening. So that's where we're at at the moment. That's all happening at this stage. Um, I'll also be, uh, another thing quickly worth mentioning as well is I'm not screwing into this material at all. I've asked for straight through holes to happen. I'll be putting stainless steel bolts through the upper and lower mid range uh, with a captured nut on the back. You'll see all that. It's all going to be done in stainless steel. You'll see the process that I go into. It's the uh, car engineer, car engineering brain in me that, that which is part of my background that wants this engineering aspect of this to be as good as anything on the planet. And that's what we're aiming to do for Paul. And, uh, and I think we're, we're absolutely going to get there. So a whole different method of how we bolt these drivers in with a nut on the back and we literally can talk them down to the correct talking that we want to have and then the driver doesn't move. Uh, putting a, a wood screw into HDF is fraught with danger and, uh, and it will work loose and there will be problems and given the, the, um, the, well, for want of a better word, lack of quality in the HDF that we saw in the baffles, uh, I, I again very much there's lots of dry dry aspects that we saw across the brake in the in the baffle it was crumbly uh, I putting a screw in and out of there you know even two or three times would I think compromise the ability to clamp the driver down onto the front face of the baffle we put bolts straight through and do them up put some loctite on the end of the nuts and do them up and 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 talk them up we'll never have a problem again so we'll do it once We'll do it well, and then we don't ever have to look at this again. So stay tuned. That's all coming. Um, you'll start to see videos as I start. I need to obviously get all the ducts lined up, and that's uh, getting the bolts here and getting all the wiring here. The threading the wiring through will be stage one. But I'll, I'll step it all out. I'll explain it to you like I've done with the Wilson resistor change, and, uh, and you'll get to see it all take place, and then you'll get to hear it all here on the channel. So thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate you all very much. Please like the video if you're enjoying what I'm doing here. And if you haven't subscribed, all I can ask you to do is please press that subscribe button and be a part of the An Aussie Audio File family. Until we talk again, see you soon.